when you're struggling financially to get by, you don't really want to talk about it. You're embarrassed. There's a shame that goes with poverty. It's a no-brainer. People are poor because they don't have enough money to buy what they need to live decently. On $8 a day, it is very difficult. If you eat once a day, you're very, very lucky. The system is fundamentally unjust that gives all the rewards to a tiny minority. The assumption that it's about sitting on a couch and uh, eating chocolate and watching the soaps is interesting, but it has no basis in fact. Imagine a world where everyone had enough money to get by, where Canadians were freed from the choice between eating and feeding. In this two-part series, we're going to be exploring a big idea. And big stands for basic income guarantee for all. And we're going to be talking to people who have been active in the debate and discussion around a basic income guarantee in Kingston. We'll be speaking with local people who are living on low income. We'll meet Tom Gummerson. He lives on $8 a day in a one-room motel room. We'll also meet Delina McDonald. She once lived on the street, struggled with addiction, but now has a basic livable income. Finally, we'll talk to Kingston politicians and people from Kingston to London, England, all of whom are promoting and discussing basic income. It's a big idea.